Hello guys, so for today's video, I wanted to do the ride or die tag that Jacqueline Hill just created. So I thought it was a really, really fun tag. So I wanted to do it. I wanted to show you my favorite ride or die products, the ones that I cannot live without the ones that if I have to do my makeup in 10 minutes I immediately run to these products know that they work they never fail me so these are it let's get started so the first question is what is your favorite primer I would have to say I don't have one there isn't a primer that I can say I cannot live without but the one that I do use most often is the Nivea Post Shave Balm so what I like about this thing is that it makes my makeup last all day it makes it go on really easy and it looks really good but like I said I don't have a favorite one that I just can't live without but if I had to pick one this would be it and she didn't include this question but I am going to add my favorite eye primer and that would be the MAC Painterly Paint Product this is absolutely Absolutely perfect I always 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 use this I have like five eye primers and I always end up using this one because it just never fails me it hides any darkness that you may have on your eyelids any little veins it's just perfect and it makes your eyeshadow look and go on flawlessly the next one would be my favorite foundation and if you have been watching my videos you already know what it is it is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I love this foundation so much I have never had anything like this and I am so sad right now because I ran out nothing is coming out so that makes me very very sad but I am definitely going to go get a replacement because I cannot live without that foundation my skin is oily but it has dry patches in some places and this foundation makes every skin type look good I recommend that it to my sister she loves it recommend that it to a friend of mine she loves it it hides my pores it lasts all day it's not too greasy it's not too dry it is amazing and it looks gorgeous and the next one obviously would be your favorite concealer and for me that is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer this one I have only been using for a few months but I, I already know it's my favorite it's not oily it's not dry it doesn't crease it stays in place it doesn't get into your fine lines and little wrinkles it looks beautiful and I love this the next two would be your favorite face powder and your favorite under eye setting powder and I'm just gonna say both of them right now because I am sure that you know this and they are the Laura Mercier translucent powder and the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder for under my eyes these two I cannot live without of all the powders I have I always run to these two they are my favorite if for someone like me with a lot of texture on their skin this is perfect it makes me look flawless it makes my makeup stay in place it's absolutely gorgeous so the next item would be my favorite blush and if you have been watching my videos you already know this because I use this in I think 65% of my videos and it is the MAC Melba this blush is absolutely gorgeous I think it looks good on any skin color and I think it looks good with any makeup that is the most important part if I put on makeup and I'm not sure what color blush to use I always run to this it is the perfect color to wear with any makeup look that you have it is absolutely gorgeous and I recommend it to everyone then we have my favorite bronzer and that is for sure the benefit hula bronzer now excuse me because mine is actually departed it's not in the box I got my bronzer in one of those holiday collection things but it was too big and bulky so I departed all of them so that's why my bronzer is outside the box but this is definitely my favorite bronzer because this one is so easy to use it's not too cool not too warm it's great for bronzing and for contour if you don't know what your skin undertone is if it's cool or if it's warm it can be really hard to find a good bronzer and a good contour powder so this one is perfect for everyone so the next one would be my favorite highlighter and if you know me you know that I am NOT that into highlighters because I have so much texture in my skin and I avoid highlighters because it just emphasizes those pores and those little breakouts that you may have especially if you have acne prone skin like mine and big pores like me um, you may want to avoid highlighters but if I ever wear highlighter it's always 
Becca and Jacqueline Hill Champagne Pop. It is gorgeous, but I'm sure you know that. You have a medium to tan skin color, then you definitely would love Champagne Pop because it's a peachy highlighter. It's not too gold and it's not too white or pink. It's peachy and it looks beautiful on our skin color. Then we have favorite mascara and that is for sure my Tarte Gifted Mascara. This is the only thing that doesn't run on my eyes because my eyes are so small I tend to I'm sure you've noticed I tend to look like my eyes are always closed because they're so small so my lashes are always touching this part of my face so I always end up transferring mascara but this one doesn't do that I have tried trust me I've tried waterproof a ton of mascaras and this one has been the only one aside from a Bobbi Brown that I tried once that I cannot remember what it was so aside from that one this has been the only mascara that does not transfer in my under eyes and Jacqueline also didn't include this in her tag but I do want to bring up this mascara because I love it for my lower lashes and it is the it cosmetics Thailand mascara just like this one this mascara doesn't transfer to my under eye and because it is so small you can really get in there in your lashes and it does define them and separate them and if you have a little tiny lashes like me you will definitely appreciate this mascara and this one is not even the waterproof one so, so I definitely want to try the waterproof one then we have lip products this is for sure my favorite makeup category I am obsessed with lip products so if I mention a little too many forgive me but I just love lip products the first one would be my favorite lipsticks and I'm definitely mentioning too because I just can't pick you know so my favorite lipstick for like an everyday thing would for sure be my MAC Velvetetti this is my perfect nude if you have skin like mine where nude lipsticks look like you're dead <laughs> this one will be perfect for you because it's not that light let me swatch this for you it's more of a brownish nude so if you are medium to tan then you will for sure love this and it has a matte finish which I appreciate my favorite lipstick finish is a matte for sure so this one is my favorite like all around all year long lipstick now for the fall and the winter I live in dark colors like right now so my favorite lipstick for the fall and winter would be MAC Diva this one is absolutely gorgeous it is a deep deep red and it also has a matte finish, which you already know I love. So this one is my favorite dark lipstick. Next is liquid lipstick, and you already know I am mentioning two for the same reason as the two lipsticks. This one would be my all year, all around, all day, every day, 24 seven favorite liquid lipstick. This is Mocha by Ofra. And again, just like Maga Velvet Teddy, this is my perfect nude because it's more of a brownish nude, not a light nude. The Ofra company has my favorite liquid lipstick formula. They are so comfortable, last all day. They're not drying, they don't get into your fine lines. They're just beautiful. And for the same reason, my dark fall and winter liquid lipstick would be Ofra. And this one is Havana Nights in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Love her and I love this liquid lipstick. This is the one that I'm wearing today, by the way. And my favorite lip gloss, I only have one. And this is so unusual. But this one is by Victoria's Secret. This is Charmed Lip Gloss. I have mentioned this in my channel before. If you have tried the little squeezy tools by Victoria's Secret, I hate those. Cannot stand them. They're too sticky. They're too... I don't know. I just don't like them. But this is completely different to those little squeezy tube lip glosses. This one is so smooth. It lasts a while on your lips. And look at this color. Can you see that? That is beautiful. It's that rosy, dusty rosy color it is just gorgeous and i love this lip gloss formula i have like four of them i think maybe more but i love this formula it is super comfortable it's not too sticky it's not too liquidy it does, it's not patchy it's just beautiful and i have told everyone in my life about this lip gloss it's 
that good. Then we have my favorite lashes and they are the ones that I'm wearing today. They're from the brand Kiss and they are in the style Dreamy. I have mentioned these lashes so many times on my channel before. They are my favorite. I just love the shape, the length, the style. I love everything about them and they are so comfortable. And also if you have small eyes, some lashes can be a little too long. You can always cut them, but sometimes if you're a beginner with lashes, you won't know how to cut them. So these ones are really small and they fit my eyes perfectly i don't have to alter them in any way and they are beautiful then we have favorite eyeshadow palettes so i have to mention two of them just because there's one that is truly my favorite i always always pack this one if i have to travel if i don't have time to think about my makeup i always use this one and if i ever had to grab a palette and run out of my house for some reason this would be it so it is the tarte tarte lead in bloom palette this is the second one these shades are gorgeous they blend so easily they're so smooth so soft they're just incredible and then what i love about this one as opposed to the first one is that this one has mostly matte shades but it has just a few that are shimmery and you need that when you're doing a look like the one I'm doing today sometimes you just want that little pop of something special and sparkly and I love that this one includes just a few of those even though I love matte everything matte skin matte lips matte eyeshadow I appreciate that this one has just a few sparkly metallic shimmery ones especially if you're traveling for a few days you don't want to wear matte shadows through your entire trip sometimes you just want to mix it up change it up a little bit and i appreciate that this has shimmery shadows and the second palette i am going to mention i just used it yesterday for the first time but i am already obsessed i am already in love nardina thank you so much for blessing my life with this palette and it is the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette it is what i'm wearing today I have no words for this. It is everything you could ever want in a palette. It has warm shades, cool shades, shimmery shade, matte shades. It is beautiful. It has the browns and the reds. I have no other words. I really, really feel that this will be my go-to for the fall and winter. And probably in the spring too because it has those rosy, sparkly shades as well. It is just absolutely gorgeous so i had to mention this because i'm obsessed so jacqueline didn't include two things in her tag but i want to include them in mine because i cannot live without these products so my favorite liquid lipstick would be for sure my cat 1d the two liner in the color trooper this thing i have told everyone and their grandmother in my life about this i used to feel like i sucked at eyeliner until i bought this thing it is it just goes on so easy so fast it's easy to control i appreciate the felt tip liner in this i just love this and if you're a beginner you may want to check this out and the next thing would be a brow product so my favorite brow product of all time has to be the new benefit precisely my brow pencil i have mentioned this in a few videos lately i did a whole video dedicated to this and a few other brow products but this has to be my favorite brow product of all time today i used another brow product because i wanted to try it but i felt like it was just too stiff and too hard to like get in there like i had to keep passing the pencil and it just didn't do it for me so i really really love that this one is not too waxy and too hard to apply and then you have the little brush in the bottom so if you make a mistake you can just quickly brush over it and it won't like stain the area if you know what i mean like just brush over it but once your brow is set then it will move around you will keep your brows on all day and yeah i love this so my favorite setting spray has to be for sure my mac fix plus what i love about this is because if you have oily skin like me you may tend to want to use matte everything matte powder mattifying primer mattifying foundation so when once you start adding those things on top of each other your face can start to look a bit cakey and a bit powdery 
So what I love about this is that if my face starts to look a little powdery, I spray this all over and it just kind of melts all those powders into your face and everything looks natural once again. It can be a little hydrating looking, a little bit dewy, but it's nothing crazy that I feel like, oh my gosh, it made my skin oily again. Nothing like that, so I really, really love this. And last but not least is my favorite perfume. So it has to be for sure my chance by Chanel. This perfume is my baby, the love of my life. I recently just got a new one. As you can see, my mom bought it for me, so love that. So the reason why I love this perfume so much is because it is... It's like a grown-up scent. I do like more mature scents. I've always been that way. My mom, let me tell you something. My mom used to sell perfumes back in the day when I was like a child and I would always prefer the more grown-up ones. Like ask her, I never went for like the flowery scents. I never went for the fruity scents. I always like the more like grown-up scents. I don't know why. I don't know why. She would always tell me, you don't think that's a little good for you? And I was like, no, that's perfect for me. What I like about this one is that even though it's a grown-up scent, it's nothing too sexy that you can't use like in the spring, you know what I mean? So this one I can wear all year round. Do yourself a favor, pass by a Macy's counter or Sephora or Nordstrom or whatever your favorite store is and smell this thing it's so good and it is the original by the way i know that now they have like a pink one a green one this is just the original and i love this so much and the other reason why i love this thing so much is because when i was 17 years old and i decided i wanted to move to new york this was one of the first fragrances that i got when i was you know independent and whatever and it just takes me back to those days when new york was new for me and exciting and it still is don't get me wrong but now i'm like you know older new yorker so back in those days i was like a new new yorker so it just takes me back to like the first time that i saw times square and the times where i used to go shopping at 34th street and never do that by the way but it just takes me back to those times and they're really good memories for me so i love this perfume so much because of that it just it doesn't give me bad memories it just gives me good ones so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed getting to know me a little more and my makeup love so definitely give this video a thumbs up and i tag you you should definitely do this video and if you don't make videos just sit down and answer these questions it was really fun to pick my favorites and it definitely makes you think so that's it thank you so much for watching bye